It's one of the world's most condemned and infamous prisons, the Guantanamo Bay, on course of closing down if plans of the Obama administration get through all the hurdles. The White House has presented to the Congress a plan to close the detention facility in Cuba, one of President Barack Obama's long-standing goals. Since assuming office in 2009, Obama had put the plan among his key priorities, but deep political divides time and again blocked his attempts. As per a Pentagon proposal, the remaining 91 detainees at the detention facility will be transferred to their home countries or to the U.S. military or civilian prisons. The inmates will be taken to 13 potential sites on U.S. soil, but the Obama administration has not specified any locations as of now. The prison costs $445 million to run annually and closing it was a 2009 promise made by President Obama. Many argue that the transfer and closure could cost between $290 million to $475 million, so this would be a greater burden. Others say housing remaining detainees in the United States would be $65 million to $85 million cheaper than at the Cuba facility, and so costs would be offset in three to five years. Saying that he does not want to pass the issue to his successor, in the White House, Obama made a final push and urged lawmakers to give it a fair hearing. For many years, it's been clear that the detention facility at Guantanamo Bay does not advance our national security. It undermines it. It drains military resources. With nearly $450 million spent last year alone to keep it running, and more than $200 million in additional costs needed to keep it open going forward for less than 100 detainees. The U.S. Congress is deeply opposed to plans of transferring inmates to U.S. soil. Opponents were quick to dump Obama's fresh push. Guantanamo Bay, which by the way, which by the way, we are keeping open, which we are keeping open. And we're going to load it up with some bad dudes, believe me, we're going to load it up. Let me say this, Mr. President, don't shut down Gitmo, expand it, and let's have some new terrorists there. Human rights campaigners have been protesting against the prison, which has held 780 detainees since it opened in 2002. A key opposition on the jail is that many detainees have been held there without charge of trial. Former U.S. President George Bush opened it to accommodate foreign terror suspects after the 9-11 attacks on the United States.